Kitchens are open, inspectors are back at work, and many of you are ordering and picking up. So we decided it was time for the dirty dining cameras to start rolling again among the places recently ordered shut. Two restaurants with over 600 rodent droppings. Well, here is Local 10 News investigator Jeff Weins here with what you need to know before you order that takeout. You're serving people food. No, I, I understand. This will be. This is for the cleaning people. They haven't come up for the. Area. Don't blame the cleaning people. He is the manager of the Fifth Element Indian Grill. It's at 1325 South Power Line Road. It's in Pompano Beach. When you have 300 plus rodent droppings, someone's not doing their job here. No, we have, we closed for three weeks. No, this after we opened, they came over here. You heard right. An inspector recently spotted 300 plus rodent droppings in his restaurant. This place was open and cooking you takeout at the time. Not in the kitchen. Kitchen was properly given, done for the properly cleaned and everything. He checked everything. Not true. Rodent droppings found in a dishwashing area and by flour in the kitchen. Rodent droppings were found in the dining room behind a bar in a food bin. There were roaches and there were flies. In Lauder Hill, the sign on the door at Seafood Express Garlic Crab House says masks required. But the first thing we noticed when we walked in, this employee in the kitchen not wearing one. You had over 280 ro rodent droppings in this place? Not true. What? That's not true. It's not true. According to a recent inspection, over 100 rodent droppings were found near rice. Droppings were also found in the kitchen by a cash register next to a steam table. There were hand washing issues. This place located on the south side of the Lauder Hill Mall. That employee put on her mask when she saw us walk in. No comment. No comment. This Leonessa Fritanga location, it's at 2361 Northeast 7th Street in Miami, and we are told to get out. <laughs> this place ordered shut, a stop sale ordered on sugar after the inspector saw a live roach crawling inside a container of it. Roaches were crawling inside a container of rice and beans as well. This man who didn't identify himself told us we were wrong. Not, not good. Bad. No, no. But we're not. All the places mentioned were allowed to reopen following an ordered cleanup and then a reinspection. Jeff Weinsier, Local 10 News.